This is Jim with A1 Repairs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. The point of the following video is to provide you an up close view of the products that we sell as if you were heading into our local hometown dealership to purchase one. With everybody shopping online, this is our attempt to bring you closer to the product rather than just viewing words on a web page. Please be sure to email or call with any questions that you may have and also like us on Facebook for the latest product and industry updates. Thanks and enjoy the video. All right, here we have the uh, Husqvarna 240 chainsaw. Uh, this particular saw is putting out 38.2 uh, cc's for the cylinder displacement, and uh, the power-wise, we're putting out about two horsepower on this one. Uh, RPM speed on the uh, chainsaw is 9,000 RPM, and uh, dry weight on this particular one, no bar, no chain, no gas, no oil, we're coming in at about 10.3 pounds. Uh, typically with this saw, you're going to purchase it either with a 14 to a 16 inch bar. Um, that's the most common. Uh, this runs a small bar mount uh, from, uh, from Husqvarna. There's a uh, commonly out in the market what I like to refer to as a small, medium, and large. That all has to do with the distance between the holes, the size there, and uh, how big uh, the rail mount is there. This is running a low profile 3 8 chain, which uh, looks very similar to what I got in my hands right there. So, um, and then width wise we're at .050, but uh, that is most common with this. Typically you're going to be running either the 14 or the uh, uh, 16 inch bar on it. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into some of the features on this one. We're going to go over the starting features to start with. We got a uh, switch right here. The red switch is going to be the kill switch. So you got up as a run position, down is going to be kill. The blue is the choke, and uh, if you pull out on the choke and you don't have the uh, run switch on, on it will automatically uh, kick on for you. Um, this, uh, the 240 is a consumer series chainsaw, great for homeowner use, and uh, you'll see on the back of the hood right here, they actually have starting instructions on it, step 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, uh, which gives you um, the same instructions of basically what I'm giving you here right now. So um, uh, this is your on-off uh, switch, this is your choke, and the purge primer for pushing the air bubbles out of the fuel hose is uh, right here on the side for easy starting which is a real nice feature on it. So, go ahead and push all that back in. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, dive into the air filter cover on this one. It's got three screws on the top holding it on. Pull this off here. And here's where you can see the engine. The uh, white piece right here is your felt filter. Uh, that is a cleanable filter that's on there. And then uh, here you got your cylinder, easy access to the spark plug right there. So let's go ahead and pull the filter apart. And there is your felt filter right there. Uh, this is uh, a cleanable filter. You can wash this with good degreaser, like a soap, uh, soap and water. You don't want to use anything with ammonia on it. Um, this is a dry filter, so you don't need to put any oil on it or anything. Just make sure it's nice and clean and dry before you go ahead and put it back on. So we're going to reassemble this here. And we're going to go ahead and get the uh, Put it back on. All right, we're gonna jump into the clutch cover here on the side. The uh, chain detensioner adjuster is right on the front, right there. Go ahead and uh, pull our bar studs off on this. And get the clutch cover off. Uh, you see, this has an outboard clutch on it. This is where the clutch is on the opposite side of the engine here, pushed towards the outside of the saw. Uh, it makes for a nice, well balanced saw. So you go ahead and put your bar on here and you put the chain back around, get it mounted up, and you'll adjust the tension from the front right there. Now you'll notice a, a line on the side of the uh, clutch cover right there. That line will continue on up over the hood of the air filter 
and it runs down the side of the recoil cover right there. That's a felling mark or a cutting mark. Uh, that's good for lining your chainsaw up, make a nice straight cut. Or if you're trying to drop a tree in a certain direction, uh, that helps with lining up for what direction you want to get the tree to fall in a safe direction. So let's uh, take a look here at the uh, gas and oil caps. They all have tethers on them, which is real nice for the refueling process when you take that off, so you don't have to worry about the gas cap rolling around. And if you want to run it dry, you can reach in really easy. Those do pop out. You can drain the fuel out of the chainsaw and fire it up and let it run until it uh, runs dry. The uh, oil cap is the same on the front. This has the uh, Husqvarna X-Torque engine, uh, spring-assisted starter for easy starting on it. And take a look at the bottom of the chainsaw, you'll see a spring right there, uh, pretty easy. And um, what that is, is that's the uh, vibration dampening system, uh, the isolation springs that uh, Husqvarna runs. There's a bunch of these strategically placed uh, throughout the chainsaw, and what it does is it uh, isolates the engine from the operator's platform or the handles. So if you'll see, I can hold the engine stationary, and you'll, you'll see that, that the handles move independently. Go ahead and do that up here too. I'll go ahead and shift the engine. And what that does is it helps reduce a lot of the vibration you're going to feel in your hands and all the fatigue that starts moving up into your arms when you start using them for long periods of time. Now uh, this has an automatic uh, chain driven oiler and um, so anytime you go ahead and accelerate with the chainsaw it'll automatically apply oil to the bar and chain. Um, Keep in mind, depending on uh, what season you're in, uh, it's a good idea to change your bar oil to go with it. Now you can, uh, uh, Husqvarna has different uh, bar chain loops that you can use. Um, here's one of their standard bar oils. It's great for you know uh, any of your warmer temperatures, you know, you know your 30s, 40s, or above. Uh, they also make a low temp bar oil, which you'll see with the uh, orange cap on it uh, right there, and. Um, this is great if you're using it in any of the cold temperatures that are out there like 32 degrees or below. Or, uh, so it's a good idea to have both uh, run the low temp in the winter months and then uh, uh, this is a little harder to find. You're going to have to particularly look for a dealership or a saw shop. These aren't readily available at the store. Regular bar chain loop is pretty easy to find. So. You know, keep in mind there's a whole wide range of accessories that you can get to go uh, with the chainsaw. You got uh, chain sharpening um, for uh, touching up the chains in between. Uh, it's good to be safe with uh, chainsaw gloves and your helmet and that. We got a lot of those accessories uh, listed online. So, like to uh, thank you for tuning in to the uh, A1 Repairs YouTube channel. This is the Husqvarna 240 chainsaw.